A few days ago, I posted a video about how I made some homemade Twinkies. And when some of you saw it, you asked if I could make some Zingers. So, I made some Zingers. Then some of you asked if I could make some Suzy Q's. So, this morning I got in the kitchen and I made some Suzy Q's. And one person said that if I would make some snowballs, then they would bring their daughter over. So, I jumped right on that one and I made some snowballs. Now, load grandbaby up and bring her over. <laughs> so, here's how I made the Suzy Q's and the snowballs. For the Suzy Q's, I used this mini loaf pan, and I just filled it about halfway full with a Devil's Food cake mix, and I baked them for 18 minutes. For the filling, I used the flour frosting, and this time I did it a little different to see if it would avoid the graininess. I put half a cup of milk in the pan, the half a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Then I cooked it until it was a thick paste. Now since the uh, sugar breaks down the flour mixture a little bit, it might help next time to just uh, increase the flour by a little bit, maybe two and a half tablespoons of flour to make it thicker. So I cooked that until it was a thick paste. I let it cool for one minute and then I added one teaspoon of vanilla. See how loose this is? It worked well, but I think it would have been better if it was a little bit stiffer. That's why I say to add just a little more flour. Then I covered it with plastic wrap and set it aside to cool completely. I took four tablespoons of salted butter and four tablespoons of shortening and I whipped them together. So I added the completely cooled flour mixture to the butter mixture and whipped it for five minutes. And this did solve the grainy problem of the sugar. I also added a pinch of salt. And as you'll see, this is a very nice filling for these little cakes. But if you wanted to use this as a frosting, it would definitely need to be a little bit stiffer. Uh, it wouldn't quite hold a shape. So I cut the little cakes in half, added some filling, put a top layer on, and there you have a Suzy Q. If you can get the texture of this frosting a little bit thicker, I think it's the same thing that the grocery store bakeries are using on their birthday cakes and calling a whipped cream frosting. So there's the Suzy Q's and they're a dead ringer for Suzy Q. Now for the snowballs. They make pans that are like a half round, but I didn't want to run out and buy anything new, so I used this pan that I have that's for making like those little uh, strawberry shortcake cups, but I turned it upside down and used it so that I had the little half round on the back side. I filled them with a devil's food cake mix about three quarters of the way full, and I baked them for 18 minutes. Here's how they turned out. They're kind of like a ball, but they still worked. And they're just a little bit smaller than the real snowballs. When they were cool, I inserted a pastry bag full of the filling into the bottom and squeezed some filling into the little cupcake. Now for the marshmallow part. I took three packages of unflavored gelatin and added half a cup of water to it and set that aside. In a pot, I mixed together half a cup of water, one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I cooked this at medium high heat for about three to four minutes covered. Then I uncovered it and put my thermometer in the pot and brought the sugar mixture to 240 degrees. Then, continually beating the gelatin mixture, I added the syrup to the side of the bowl, and you beat that until it's lukewarm. They said approximately 12 to 15 minutes, but it didn't take that long. Add one teaspoon of vanilla and beat for one more minute. Now, ice the cupcakes, and as you can see, this makes a mess, but you can get it on there pretty smoothly. And then just roll the cupcake in some coconut. And I uh, put that coconut in a little food processor and added uh, about four drops of red food coloring to about a cup of coconut. And I chopped it up so that it was finer. It's hard to believe with all the mess I made here, but they do turn out pretty neat. 
<laughs> and plus I was working under the pressure that my battery had died in my camera and I had to work fast with this uh, marshmallow cream stuff uh, but it all worked out in the end from one box of cake mix I made eight Susie Q's and 18 snowballs and I had a whole lot of marshmallow left so I prepared a pan and made marshmallows out of the rest to prepare the pan I mixed together a quarter cup of confectioner sugar and a quarter cup of cornstarch I sprayed a baking pan with a vegetable spray and then I dusted it with this sugar and cornstarch mixture then I poured the marshmallow mix onto the pan and at this point it didn't smooth out so easily so I dusted the top and tried to smooth it out with my hands I wanted this thin so that I could cut out shapes with cookie cutters and decorate the little shapes so here's a snowflake that I made I just cut out a marshmallow with a cookie cutter and then I brushed the top with a little water with a pastry brush and then sprinkled it with these little uh, sugar crystals I'm going to let these dry a while then play with this idea some more I think you can make some really cute uh, Christmas cookies or Christmas marshmallows uh, with this so that's how I made Susie Q's and snowballs and marshmallows hope it helps